Hello, friends! Get ready to learn and create with me, Wimmy! Today we've got a song. We've got Moby. Three sentence stories, of course. Brody is here in the women's lab. Brad is here for language explorers. Andrea visits for explore and create. My friend Joe is here. Oh man, scavenger hunt, find it fast, dance parties. You know how it works. Ha ha ha. So it's good to see you and you and you and you and you. Let's see what Sylvia is going to tell us today. Today's theme is rivers. Rivers. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through white and drifted snow. Ha <laughs> ha, tell us a place you would like to travel to. We'll go over the river and through the woods. Where are we gonna go? Let's see. I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We travel all over Kent County, so I'll say, over the river and through the woods to all over Kent County we go. The bookmobile knows the way to carry the books through the white and drifted snow. <laughs> uh, I think the winter's free and clear now, but you never know. But that bookmobile does go. In Grand Rapids Public Library, they've got a bookmobile in Muskegon, and man, bookmobiles and on the road traveling, looking around like, hey friends, good to see you. So, tell us a place you like to travel to. Maybe it's somewhere in Kent County. Maybe it's somewhere across the state. The library! Over the river and through the woods to the library we go. Ha ha ha, indeed. Getting some books. Books about rivers. Books about lakes. Books about all kinds of things. Where else could we go, friends? We can go over the river and through the woods to friend's house. Okay, ready? Over the river and through the woods to my friend's house we go. We're gonna hang out and read some books that we got at the library today. <laughs> See what I did? I combined library with um with that one. Oh, oh, South Dakota! Let's do it. Ready? Over the river and through the woods to South Dakota we go. Now should we go by horse or bookmobile? Uh, let's see. Let's take let's take a boat. Can we take a boat? Do you think the river could could we connect in a river? and go, maybe we could leave through Lake, maybe we start in Lake Michigan, go up around, can we take like a river through Canada and then kind of go back down? I'm not sure, maybe. Oh, the bank. Thanks, Kylie. Over the river and through the woods to the bank we go. We worked real hard, we'll deposit our money and spend it on travel food. <laughs> we need some snacks as we're traveling around, right? Man, oh man, I could sing and sing forever. Friends, thanks for your ideas. Keep singing that, okay? Let's see, what do we think Moby is gonna say today? I was just reading about rivers. Did you know that all rivers flow into an ocean, sea, or lake? Yep, that's so cool. I also read that there are over 250,000 rivers in the United States. Whoa, that's a lot of rivers. Yeah, most of us live near one. Have you ever been to a river? Which one is near you? My goodness, 250,000 rivers in the United States. I wonder how many rivers are in the world. Whoa. Any favorite rivers that you have, friends? I know my favorite river, the Grand River. Of course. <laughs> now, there's so many rivers, though. Little rivers, and then we got the big old rivers around the country. Man, oh, man. So, friends, are you ready for the story? It's time for three sentence story, beginning, middle, end. And the three words come from you. Ha 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 ha. Indeed, we're gonna write a story together. In the first sentence, we will set the scene. In the second sentence, there will be a problem. <laughs> Why? But in the third sentence, don't worry, because there is a solution. There's always a solution. You just gotta find it. You gotta keep working. Just don't give up. So, 
We love nouns, person, place, or thing. Who's got the first word for today? These stories can be silly. They can be action. They can be adventures. They could be scholarly. They could be, oh, ho, 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 root beer floats. So that's very, I like it. It's detailed. So ice cream float, root beer float. Um, it's like an ice cream sundae float. Man, I can't wait to see how Brad's going to translate this. <laughs> I bet he's, he's already working on it. He's already thinking on it. Root beer floats. Um, that's how we start the story. Um, okay, okay, here we go. I was floating down the river the other day enjoying a root beer float for breakfast. <laughs> I made it silly that we're um, drink, having a root beer float for breakfast. <laughs> oh no, there's a problem with Mississippi. Ha ha ha, indeed. Okay, here we go. I was floating down the river the other day, enjoying a root beer float for breakfast. I was going to take a left turn on the Mississippi River, but I missed it! No! See, I was taking a smaller river to travel to the Mississippi River, but I missed it. Oh no! How am I gonna... Wait, I'm not even sure where I'm going yet. <laughs> Technically, in the story, I never set out um, where I was going, but we now know I was supposed to turn left on the Mississippi River and I missed it. How do I solve this problem? How do I get, ooh, laptop. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. I got it. From the top. I was floating down the river, enjoying a root beer float for breakfast. Suddenly I realized, oh no, I missed the left turn on the Mississippi River. Good thing I packed my laptop and I found a new route. Hmm, I may need to do some research. See, in some stories you can just make it all up, but in other stories, if it needs to be accurate, then I gotta research. So I'm gonna have to use the laptop and this story to research where do I take another, how do I get back? Uh, what What is the rerouting? I don't know that detail in the story yet, but I use the laptop to reroute myself to where I had to go. Ha <laughs> ha, we did it. Ooh, friends, if you wanna add a detail, you can let me know maybe in the story, where am I headed to? So I'm starting out on, ooh, I started out on the Grand River. That's where I started. And I wonder, does it connect from the Grand River to the Mississippi River? How would I get there? That'd be fun to figure that out. Well, friends, it's time to go to Brody in the Granville Wimage Lab to see what he's got going for today's Wimage. Hey, Brody, ha <laughs> ha, good to see you. Good to see you too. Hi, friends. Hi, Wemmy. <laughs> Do you Wimmy. like rivers? Oh, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Wanted. So his name is River. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! I love it. And you said his name is River? Yeah. Hi, River. Hi. <laughs> Great to meet you. Good to meet you too. <laughs> River, are you helping with today's wimage? Yeah. How's it going so far? Good. Great. <laughs> I love that, Brody. Did you make this? Did you make that, friend? Uh, yeah. I made it just before the show. Oh, that's so cool. How did, can you tell you what, after the show, can you tell me more about how you made it? I'm intrigued. Yeah, sure. Great. All right. So what have you got for today's webage? So you're actually riding on the laptop <laughs> with your root beer float and with the river. Nice. I love that perspective. The way I'm like sticking my hand out like, hey, hey. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. That's pretty fun. It's a laptop boat. Yeah. It's like a boat and laptop. It's like all in one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Friends, if you want to make your own Wimage, you can download the Wimage app for free. It's in the Apple Store and uh, for iPad or iPhone. And we're getting close to launching it web-based. So, uh, friends, let's, what do you think, Brody? Should we see if anyone at home has an idea for what to add? It could be something yeah. for the river. It could be another friend. Um, it could be a detail about where we're... Oh, clouds. 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 Friends, Brody's using the voice dictation. He speaks the word. It pulls up the images. He looks at the first option then decides to click through to other ones mm -hmm. or not. Change colors, change size. So I'm just making the cloud, I'm just duplicating clouds, and I'm... 
Oh, I love it. I like how the river floats away into the background. Now, is this still on the Grand River in the picture or a different river? Uh, I haven't figured that part out yet. Yeah. yeah, it could be either, right? Yeah. Awesome. Well, great work, Brody. If you want to keep working on adding anything, we'll check back. Oh, Miss Karen says that her favorite river is the Mississippi River. That's such a fun word Ooh. to say. Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> All right, so Brody, we'll check back with you later. Thanks for making today's swimmage. Friends, we get to find out how to say today's words in Swahili. For language explorers, Mr. Brad joins us today. Ooh, I wonder how root beer float is going to translate. Hi, Mr. Brad. <laughs> Hi, Weeby. <laughs> that root beer float one is about the one to top them all. Oh, so what would you say then in Swahili if you wanted to drink a root beer float? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is cracking me up so much, but I, I think you would have to go to a different continent because I don't think you can find root beer float or root beer in all of Africa. So. Oh man, what would you add to the ice cream instead then? <laughs> you could do a Coke float. Ooh, that'll work. Yeah, it would work. So, so we're going to have a float, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be a generic float. Okay. So so we're going to have ice cream ya kuelea ju ya soda. So that is just basically ice cream that floats on top of soda or pop. That's pretty much what a root beer float is, right? <laughs> but with soda. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so then Mississippi, that's another tricky one, too, because that's probably going to be... Oh, Actually, okay. that one's very easy. Yeah. Mississippi. 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 It just would translate exactly out like that. Yeah. And then what the are... next word we have is laptop. And so I put computer dogo, so a small, small computer. Nice. I recognize a little bit of the word sounds of the word computer. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a derivative of English, really. Nice. I love it. Hey, uh, how, I'm going to put you on the spot. How might you say river in Swahili? So river is mto, namili ishi Africa, kando kando ya. Ziwa mbili, ziwa ya Tanganika na ziwa ya Kivu, lakini kitu ni ajabu zile ziwa kubwa, zilikuwa kubwa sana zime ungwa nisha pamoja na mto ya Rozizi. So what I just told you was I lived in Africa largely beside two, two lakes, Lake Tanganika and Lake Kivu. And they were joined together. I just looked up how long the um, river is. It's about 140 miles between the two river, the two lakes. But they're joined together by the Ruzizi River. So I had a very uh, close history with the Ruzizi River that connects the two lakes I grew up on. That's so cool. And I just love listening to you speak in Swahili. <laughs> Oh, and one last thing. On that river, there's crocodiles and hippos, so watch out. Oh, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. <laughs> and we don't have any hippos or crocodiles in the Grand River, right? No, I, I don't know if we have sturgeon fish in there. They're pretty big, but yeah. that might be the biggest thing in the Grand River. Got it. Good to know. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Brad. We'll You're see you welcome. later. Woohoo! Learning words, thinking about rivers, stories, all kinds of fun stuff. Well, friends, right now it's time to spend time with Miss Andrea for Explore and Create with GRPL. <laughs> The first thing I thought of when I saw today's uh, theme 
was an eyewitness book, Pond and River. I love this series of books. They're called Eyewitness Books. And we have lots of topics, lots of books on all kinds of different topics. It's an, a, a great place to start if you're curious about something. This one has all kinds of facts about things that live in and around rivers. And the next book I thought of, I love this one, is A River by Mark Martin. It's about a little girl who's sitting in her bedroom and she sees a river go through her city and she starts to think about where she could go if she got on a boat in that river. And it's a really fun. And I like I to think about this too because we have a river that runs yeah. through our city, right? I was, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. I pass over that river every morning on the way to the library and then every evening on the way home to work or home, home I get to see that river. And so I started thinking about boats in the river, and I decided today we would do an experiment where you just need some aluminum foil, okay. some scissors, nice. and a pile of pennies. We're going to make a boat out of this aluminum foil and see how many pennies we can get to float on. We're going to make our own river. You could do it in a sink or a tub or a bucket. We're going to use a big tub. Nice. So you just cut a square. Got it. And then you start folding your boat. You make some sides. You make sure you have some space on the bottom. Super easy to make a boat. I made one a little bit earlier, and I decided to put some tape on the edges. If you have some tape, you can use tape. You don't have to use it, though. Your okay. boat will still float. So we've got our boat. I made mine just a rectangle. And I'm going, are you ready? We're going to take a little voyage Whoa. with our camera here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's the river. Here's my river. Here's my boat. And then we're just going to take a pile of pennies. Whoa. And you just start adding them to your boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, 11, and 12. And you just keep going until the last penny sinks the boat, right? And then you subtract that one penny and that's how many pennies you can get in your boat. Whoa. And then here's where the fun starts. You start thinking, hey, I could get 20 pennies in this boat. What if I had made a smaller boat? Do you think I would give, be able to get fewer or more pennies to float in my boat? Mm, what if I made I a bigger boat? What if I made a boat that was the same size, but it had wide, higher sides and a smaller bottom. What do you think? Would we be able to get more or less pennies to float in this one? Hmm, I'm going to think about this. I, I, well, I'm going to think less because there's less, like, it's, it's dispersed differently. It might tip over faster. Right. So there's your hypothesis. You think you're going to get less, and then you put it in your tub, and you start dropping the pennies, and you find out if you're right or not. And then you figure out, hey, why was I right? Why wasn't I? It's a really oh. simple, fun experiment. I wonder when people first started making boats, like a long time ago, do you think maybe they did some tests, or they were just like, oh, no, everybody out of the boat. Like, we should have planned this better. <laughs> oh, no, sunk again. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so cool. I'm going to definitely try that and see how many pennies. Ooh, think, could I try nickels, too, and compare maybe the pennies and the nickels? You absolutely can. And then if you have some older kids, you can take your boat, measure the height of your sides, measure the length of your boat, measure the width of your boat. You multiply those together, and you have your volume of your boat. And then... When you see how many pennies you get in there, each penny weighs 2.5 grams. Ooh. So then you multiply the number of pennies by 2.5, and you know how many grams the volume can hold. Wow, that is some complex stuff. And then I, we could even figure out, like, how many, we could, like, compare how many pennies it would take to equal a human. Oh, oh, oh. and then, we, well, that, okay, I'm getting a little step ahead of myself. But, man, that's pretty cool. That's where it all begins, right? It's just thinking and planning and going further. That's right. And you can do it with nickels, too, because we know how heavy nickels are, too. Oh, how heavy are they? 
Oh, I don't know. You'd have to Google. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone knows. That's true. That's true. You're right. I bet you can Google and get all that nickels and dimes and quarters, or you could measure it in a scale or borrow a scale or go to the library and like, hey, I got to find out the weight of nickels and quarters. Yep, absolutely. Right. Well, thanks, Miss Andrea. We are going to see you soon later on in the show. <laughs> Guess what, friends? I'm really excited because my friend Joe is with us today, and I'm so excited to chat with him. It's time for Wimmy's Friends. Hi, Joe. Hi, Wimmy. <laughs> I'm so glad you're on the show today. I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Now, <laughs> you, I know, love rivers. Right? Yes. What is right. one thing that you like about rivers, Joe? The, the ducks. Oh, the ducks. The ducks. Quack, quack. <laughs> Those are fun to watch, little ducks, right? <laughs> what is another yes. thing that you like about? Tell me one more thing that you like about rivers. The, uh, the people. People can go in boats people and are... like live on it. There, aren't there things like river boats where people can live on a river boat? Yes. <laughs> Would you live on a river boat? Would you want to? I wish I could, but I can't. Oh, yeah, I can relate. I, I would, I, yeah, I wouldn't, um, I don't think it would go well for me, too, because I'd be like, wait a minute, we keep, uh, we keep, uh, like, spinning, and like, oh, no, I gotta get back to land, and, uh, it's fun, though, to go for a little bit, right? Have, you've been on a boat, you told me, right? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, uh -huh. and did yes, you see any... Nice. Did you see any ducks when you were on the boat? I, th I think so. But I <laughs> oh, that's, that's that's a good point. Um, when you were on the boat, did it go fast or slow? Fast. <laughs> I can just imagine like on the boat going. Oh, <laughs> man. Do you have a favorite river, Joe? The Mississippi! The Mississippi! Miss Karen said that also. Right there, right there. This is from Muskegon Area District. She loves the Mississippi. And she noticed your shirt. I was, you and I were talking about that before. It's the Rugrats, right? Yes. <laughs> do you think the Rugrats like going on river boats? Yes, I do. <laughs> I think so, too. I think so, too. So, uh, rivers and uh, the Mississippi, that's the longest one in the world, right? Right. Oh, oh, man. Rivers are amazing. They just wind and wind and wind. I didn't know from Moby until today, there are 250,000 rivers. Wow. wow. I know. There's so many. Wow. Oh. Man. Well, Joe, you sent us some photographs. Um, I'd like to show some of those photographs. Yeah. You ready? Great. Okay, so here's the first one. And if you could tell us what it is we see here, you told me that this was a photo of you when you were young, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Um, let's take a look at the next photograph. Tell us what do we see here? That's me with the we I made binoculars. Oh, those binoculars! Those binoculars are so cool. Um, do you do you have them with you by chance? Cause you put cool fish on those binoculars, right? Yes. Hold on. Uh, okay, no rush. I'm curious if those fish were from the river when you were on the boat. <laughs> Did those fish come from the river? No, they're stickies. <laughs> I was just being silly. I, you're right. They're stickies. Okay. Awesome. Well, we got two more photos. Tell us what we see in this photo. What did you create? That's me with a very picture. Oh, that picture is cool. What did you use to create it? Yes. Yeah. Margaret. 
nice. Lots of colors. It's beautiful. Now, I noticed on your desk, when we when we zoomed in close, I noticed a photo. Let's look at this close up. That's Betty White on your desk. <laughs> I, I'm a Betty White fan too. Do you like Betty White? Yeah. I know, she's so funny. <laughs> We have that in common. And then one more photo. I don't know what's going on in this photo. So you got to tell me, Joe, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, I, I was dressing up like Betty White for Halloween. I love it. Looks good. Do you like to dress up? Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, Joe, thank you so much for being on the show. We're going to have our dance party coming up. I heard you love to dance. Yes, I do. <laughs> we will see you soon then for the dance party. Thanks, Joe, for sharing your love of rivers and showing us those awesome photos. <laughs> That's my friend Joe. I love it, friends. So, let's see. We've sung a little bit. We learned some things. Let's have a little joke here from our friend Sibley. What happens when a robot falls in a river? The robot gets wet. I can tell you, that's the true story. <laughs> that's right. Friends, we love books. It's time to go back to Andrea for Check Out This Book. <laughs> what book do you have today? Today's book is Bear Came Along by Richard T. Morris. This is a super fun book. The bear discovers a river and is very curious and gets closer and closer to the river, goes out on a log to get a better look at the river, and then splash. He and the log are now in the river. Oh. And he floats down and he meets some friends and then he meets some more friends. Joe might like this book because one of the friends that he meets is a... Uh, uh, is, it, is it a duck? It's a duck. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so now all this group of friends are floating down the river, and then there's a very big surprise at the end. Oh, Bear man. came along. I love this one. Oh, I wonder what the surprise is. You'll have um, to read it to find out. I will. I will. I'll go look for it, Miss Andrea. Thanks for letting us know about that awesome book. <laughs> I like it. She said that the bear falls in the river. Do you know what happens when a bear falls in the river? He gets wet. <laughs> that just that just that's fun no matter what you say, how you put it. Hey, let's check in with uh let's check in with Brody. Let's see if he's added any updates to today's wimage. Any updates? Yeah. Let's see. So I put some ice cream on the root beer float. Oh, ho, ho. I added a boat with some pennies. Oh, nice. And uh I added something for Joe, the Betty White picture. Oh, yeah! There's Betty White! I see it! <laughs> That's so cool. Betty White, she's just funny. And I bet she's... Maybe she's helping count the uh, number of pennies. How many did you get in your boat? I think I counted five. Or is it four? Two, four, six. Oh, six! Wow. Nice. Man, oh, man. Maybe Betty White should be the captain of the boat. Take us all <laughs> yeah. down the river. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for the update, Brody. It is time! For today's Find It Fast. Are you folks ready? When the music starts, find something that starts with R. R for river. Find something that's okay to get wet. And find something wavy. Go! Remember, you can always write or draw or create something. Lots of things start with R. Think of some possibilities. Something that's okay to get wet. And rivers, they kind of wave. Let's see what Brody's got. Oh yeah! So I have river, and <laughs> I'm okay to get wet, and <laughs> I'm waving. Oh man! <laughs> waving! <laughs> Do you like getting wet, Brody? Yeah, yeah, he's nodding his head backstage. Friends, keep sharing more things that you might find that start with R. Or something that's okay to get wet. Or something's wavy. 
Uh, let's see, R. We could find a rock. You could find a, uh, let's see, anyone on the team who wants to share? Uh, oh, root beer! Kylie's drinking some root beer. Looks like Mr. Brad's got something to share. Mr. Brad, what have you found on the list? So I have a rubber band that starts with R. Yep. I have, I don't know this puppet's name, but her hair is wavy. Yeah, that's Lucy. <laughs> Look at that hair. Says, Hi. Hi, Hi Lucy. Lucy. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> and then what was the other thing I uh, Something that's okay to get wet. Oh, yes. I figured um, you could you could get this wet. You, you you want to get it wet in the yeah. inside of it. It has to get wet if you're going to have some yep. water or coffee or tea. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, if you want to post in the comments something that you found, let us know. Brad is pretty cool, isn't he, John? I agree. Such a cool team. It's so fun working together, sharing ideas. Oh, man. Oh man, hope you found some things. You can keep sharing what you found if you wanna share. Uh, let's check in with Joe. Hey Joe, what are your thoughts? What's something that starts with R? Anything around, maybe? Oh, Rugrat! <gasps> That's the double! Uh, red boots. Fruit, Fruit Loops? Red boots. Rain red boots. Oh, rain boots! Yes, yes, I love it! Rain, oh, rain boots are perfect because they can get wet, and they start with R, and maybe they might even be wavy if it has a wavy design. That's the trilogy! Ha, 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 all three! Great job, Joe! Yes! <laughs> yeah, I love it! I love your smile, Joe. That inspires me. Um, well, friends, thanks for helping out with the Find It Fast. Thanks for singing. Thanks for creating. It is time for the dance party. You guys ready to dance? Let's roll the music. Let's get ready to dance. There's Brody, there's Joe, there's Brad. There's Andrea. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh -uh. Woohoo! Yeah, Joe, yeah, Joe. Yeah, Brad, yeah, Brad. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimmage, with additional support by these great partners. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.